On September 10th, Santana High School shooter Andy Williams will make his case for parole. For the first time since the shooting 23 years ago, victims and families will confront Williams and share their stories of the unrelenting pain and anguish he has caused them. Meanwhile, Williams will tell the parole board how he has made amends during the past two decades behind bars. In an exclusive interview with CBS 8, the attorney representing Andy Williams talks with us about the hearing and what will happen if Williams is granted parole. heading towards the back and peeked out the main office door and uh, we just heard three or four more shots going on. It was my 16th birthday and I heard what sounded like firecrackers going off and then I saw Andy come out of the bathroom. Armed with a 22 caliber pistol, 15-year-old Andy Williams opened fire. You could see the terror in people's faces. That's how you knew, because they were, they were running for their lives. Within minutes, Williams killed 17-year-old Randy Gordon and 14-year-old Brian Zucker and injured 13 others. Here he comes out of the car now. Just 15 years old at the time, Williams was tried as an adult. He pleaded guilty to two counts of murder and 13 counts of attempted murder and was sentenced to 50 years to life in state prison. At that age, you know when you're taking a life. Former classmates say they are still haunted by the memory of that day. The idea of him being released early, it's just, um, it's not fair. For Lauren Gaines, the trauma affects her in the simplest of ways, even when she says goodbye to her kids before school. I think about sending them to school every day, worry that something's going to happen to them. And that will never go away. For years, Gaines and others traumatized by the shooting took some comfort in knowing Williams would remain behind bars until at least 2051. But now they face the realization that Williams could soon be a free man after serving less than half of his original sentence. There's a high likelihood that the parole board will grant his suitability. So how is it that a convicted school shooter who murdered two teenagers gets a chance at parole? Attorney Laura Shepard represents Williams in his quest for parole and explains the laws have changed. Our state law now does not allow a 14 or 15 year old to be charged as an adult in the first place. So if Andy were to have committed this crime today, he never would have even been charged as an adult. He wouldn't have had a life sentence. He wouldn't have been sent to an adult prison. Shepard specializes in youth offender parole cases and says, while the relatively new law passed in 2017 is not retroactive, it does make Williams eligible for early parole. And she believes he has a strong case. So the first reason I think he should be released is that he never should have been in adult court in the first place. But the second reason is, yeah, I 100% do not believe that he's a risk to the public. Over the past 24 years, he's experienced a lot of treatment, a lot of accountability, a lot of punishment also. He is genuinely remorseful. He's matured tremendously. He's 38 years old and I think he's undergone more self-reflection than most of us do in our lifetimes. She says during his time in prison, Williams has earned an associate's degree. He is a certified drug and alcohol treatment specialist and was recently transferred to the California Healthcare Facility in Stockton, where he works as a counselor, a profession he hopes to develop outside of prison if he is released, but not here locally. He does not intend to move back to San Diego. He has loved ones here, but he doesn't want to traumatize the community. He doesn't want to scare anyone. And so even though he knows he's no, da no danger to anyone, he's going to move to another community in California, um, which the parole department allows for that, and settle there, work in most likely a recovery home as a drug and alcohol treatment specialist. But for the parents and families of the two young boys who were murdered, and for a community still scarred by the shooting, they're left to wonder, does Williams deserve to be set free? Many say 
absolutely not. And after 20 years, R Randy and Brian don't get to come back from the dead. I mean, the psychological effects just don't magically wipe away after 20 years. And so people have to be held accountable for their actions. One thing both sides agree on, Williams' actions that day were monstrous and cruel. But now Williams says he is remorseful. Last year, CBS 8 investigative producer Dorian Hargrove interviewed Williams by phone. Williams said nothing, neither the sexual abuse he suffered as a child or the bullying he endured could ever be used as an excuse for what he did. But he said he is no longer a risk to society. To hear portions of that interview, visit CBS8.com and click on the digital version of this story. Again, Williams' parole board hearing is set for September 10th. CBS 8 will continue to follow the story that we first broke last fall, and we will let you know what happens.